So I'm sure that, that Paris Hilton doesn't wake up every day thinking about this fact, but really, if it weren't for exploding stars, those 200 million stars that exploded so we could be here today, she wouldn't have anything to wear. So if it weren't for those supernova explosions, there wouldn't be any bling. Appears just single cells at first. But as the eons pass, those tiny single cells evolve into plants and animals, and eventually, humans. We tend to disassociate ourselves from the universe, but that, of course, is completely wrong. We are a vital part of the cosmos. And so when we talk about the origin and evolution of the universe, we're actually talking about the origin and evolution of ourselves. Everything we can see on our planet was either made in the Big Bang or inside a star. Scientists like Krauss believe they now know the genesis of every atom that has created the world we live in. These atoms have been around since the dawn of time. And um, when I was young, my mother used to tell me, don't touch that, you don't know where it's been. And she would have been amazed. But this is not the final chapter in the story. After almost 14 billion years, the universe has really only just gotten started. Now we take a journey into the future to see how it all ends. The universe we live in is nearly 14 billion years old. It has created the raw materials for everything we see around us. The stars, the planets, trees, cities, automobiles, even us. Our world is complete, but the universe is still evolving. Scientists have come up with many theories on how it will end. We know our universe began in the Big Bang. What we don't know yet is what the future of our universe is going to be. Our universe may end with a bang or a whimper or something even more exotic. One theory suggests that our universe will run out of steam and stop expanding. Every star, galaxy and planet, every atom will start to collapse, ending in a single super dense pinpoint known as the Big Crunch. To find out if the universe really is going to crash back in on itself, scientists first need to discover if it's still expanding or if it's slowing down. Astrophysicist Saul Perlmutter studies the death of the universe by finding beacons in space, exploding stars called Type 1a supernovas. If you have enough of these exploding stars, these, uh, these supernova, um, that you've measured their, their brightness, though the ones that look fainter and fainter and fainter must be further and further and further away. And so you have some supernova that are a little bit brighter, they're, they're more nearby, some that are a little bit fainter, so they're a little bit further, and some that are very faint, so they're very far away. Type 1a supernovas are similar to the supernovas that created the heavy elements. Every Type 1a supernova explodes at the same tipping point, and so are equally bright and visible across the vast distances of the universe. Perlmutter needs to find hundreds of Type 1a supernovas and then measure how fast they are moving away from us. By comparing the positions and dates of all these supernovas stretched over space and time, Perlmutter can calculate whether the universe is slowing down. His results are a shock. The expansion of the universe isn't slowing down at all. When we began the project, of course, the goal was to find out how much the universe was slowing down. Now, when we actually started looking at the data, it looked like the universe wasn't slowing enough to come to a halt. Um, and in fact, it wasn't slowing very much at all. And in fact, when we finished the analysis, it looked like it wasn't a uh, slowing period. It was actually speeding up in its expansion. Perlmutter's astounding discovery means that the universe will not grind to a halt, then crunch back down into a pinhead of super-dense matter. Quite the opposite. It will continue to expand faster and faster. Our universe is literally flying apart. The expansion of the universe will accelerate at ever faster and faster rates until literally everything will get ripped apart. Not just galaxies, but eventually matter the Earth, all the objects, stars, the Earth, planets, people, atoms, in a finite time would get ripped apart. 
long after our sun has burned out, a hundred billion years in the future, galaxies will pull apart. The universe will be made up of isolated stars, which are running out of energy. Some will become white or brown dwarfs. Others will collapse into neutron stars or black holes. Then, thousands of trillions of years after the Big Bang, even the black holes will evaporate, and all matter will decay to its basic ingredients. Atoms will fall apart, and even protons, the building blocks of atoms, will decay. <laughs> 